I've been trying to get into uh, beverages of all types, all shapes and sizes. Well, okay, I guess beverages don't have any shape or size, they are liquid, but all, um, all types, you know. As a child, I was really into milk, and I still am, but milk is like the thing I've always been into. I always drink milk um, with every meal, pretty much. Very few things I don't think go best with milk, you know. Um, then when I was 16, I got into water. Didn't like water before, but one time when I was 16, I got sick, and I felt better every time I drank water, but then I stopped being sick and found out that water still makes you feel better, so uh, I did that. And uh, then, when I was a little bit older, I started getting into tea, because I often have a sore throat or an upset stomach, uh, partly because I think I have, like, acid reflux, I think, because my dad has it, so I probably have some of that. But uh, green tea cures sore throat, and herbal tea, um, peppermint tea, sets your stomach. So I just have herbal tea after like every meal, so I'm a big time tea guy. You know, then I turned 21, I got into drinking a little bit. Then didn't, didn't really have anyone to drink with though. But since moving here, I now have lots of people to drink with, so I've gotten quite into that. I've really gotten into white wine specifically. So easy to drink. It feels all tasty. And then I get to have fun time, yeah. And uh, yeah, and I've also kind of been into juice my whole life as well, you know, but sometimes I'll buy myself some juice and, and then I'll have that. So it's like, okay, you know, I, I drink water all the time. I always have a cup of water with me. I drink milk with every meal. I drink tea after every meal and then sometimes just for the hell of it. I, you know, I drink alcohol sometimes, sometimes I just have a beer with me to get a little bit buzzed, you know, to, to focus my focus a bit. And then, you know, I'll have the occasional cup of juice, and I'm like, sweet, I'm into so many beverages. Now, one beverage I avoid is, is soda, just because, like, you know, I'm not a fan of the way it tastes. I've never really been into it. It just feels gross, and it just feels like way too much sugar for me. Um, and then, of course, everyone says sodas are really unhealthy, so I'm like, okay, I will avoid it. I love soda. It gives me an opportunity to feel so superior to normal civilization, being like, oh, that thing that everyone says is bad for you? I don't even want it. I'm just naturally amazing. Although it sucks being at a restaurant, because, you know, most of the time, the only thing you can get is soda or sweet tea. I wish restaurants would serve milk. That'd be great. So yeah, I'm avoiding soda and energy drinks. But then, there's still one other beverage to get into, which is coffee. Now, growing up, I'd assume that coffee probably hurts your health or, like, slowly kills you or something. Because, I mean, if it gives you more energy, it must be taking away from your life force, right? But, CGP Grey has that whole video about how caffeine supposedly doesn't have any negative side effects at all. So I'm like, oh, guess I'll get into coffee at some point. So, you know, like a year or two ago, occasionally I drink a cup and I just didn't didn't really seem to have that much of an effect on me. So I would drink like one cup every day, but then as the days went on, I just got more and more delirious. Not more energetic, just weird. Like four days of coffee in a row, by the end of it, I was just like running around being like, where am I? Who am I? I felt like someone could just come up and stab me right through the chest and I'd be like, you are stabbing me. I understand. You have attacked me. What is happening? Like, I just felt like, I just felt like numb to life itself. So that was starting to be scary, so I held it off. But, you know, nowadays, I really just want to work super fast. I want to make videos super fast. I love, I'm, I'm super romantically into this idea of, like, sitting down and cranking some, some project out in one session, right? And I'm like, I, I, I can rarely do that without getting tired at least at some point, so... Uh, I, that uh, coffee keeps sounding attractive to me. So I tried coffee the other day and at some point I started cataloging a timeline of how the day went. So I will now read you the timeline. Okay, so I wake up, I believe at some point, uh, I'm not quite sure on exactly the time, but I woke up at some point and Digi had a video ready for me to edit. Like he had recorded the audio for it and he had linked me the script. So that's my cue to start making it. But, you know, I'll, I'll wait a couple hours before I get to it. So first, I, you know, do some C++ tutorials again. You know, I'm still into coding and stuff. Uh, and then I make a six-page list on a notebook listing off all of the must-play video games that I haven't played yet. Uh, so, I, I, you know, I do that. 
it takes me like two hours to write that down because uh, I, I had adapted it from a text document that I'd already made, but I wanted to get it on a notebook and tighten it up some. So yeah, that took me two hours. Then I spent like two hours like watching like let's plays and summaries of, of some video games, you know, just to like, I was just curious about it. So that was another two hours. Then I recorded a vlog about how many things I want to do in, with my time, with my life. Um, I actually recorded that vlog twice. So that was basically like a full hour I spent on that vlog. Then I sat down to get the Log Horizon video ready. Um, before I can even make a video like that, I first have to convert all the files and stuff to make it ready. Because um, when you download anime, it usually is an MKV file, but you need to have an MP4, so you gotta process that. So I, I started that processing. Then I spent like an hour or two like doing other stuff, uh, uploading the video, the, the vlog. Then I sat down to start making the Log Horizon video. And I got myself a cup of coffee. I drank 500 milliliters of it, like, immediately. Or two cups, right? So yeah, just, just this tall stein filled with coffee. I drank the whole thing over the course of, like, probably 20 minutes. And I started very quickly feeling like total shit. I felt, like, all sickly and gross and, and nihilistic as hell. And I started editing the video and I just, it wasn't even feeling right. It felt like it was straight up making me not good at art. It made me feel like I didn't even know what good clips were in existence. I, I just felt like I'd lost my touch even. So I just, I, I went away, I went into my room and started talking to a squiggle. Um, I, I have a squiggle now and I talk to it sometimes. So, uh, you know, started having a conversation, talking about how I feel like shit. And at some point, I'm like, all right, better get back to this video, you know, so I started editing it again, kept working at it, feeling weird. Ben comes into the room, and I'm just like, Ben, what are you doing? Hey, I'm making it. I drank coffee. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm just feeling like, like a huge, weird, grumpy pants who doesn't even, I didn't even feel like me anymore. So I'm just like hammering away, hammering away at the video, being like, why doesn't this work on me? Why doesn't coffee work on me? Why doesn't coffee work? Oh, it's been 10 hours. And then, then that's when I realized I had just been editing the video for like all night long, nonstop, without even blinking, without even feeling slightly tired. And I'm like, oh, and this is where everything started to come together. Now, toward the end of the video making it, I started to almost pass out. I started to get totally dead tired. So I'm like, oh, I'll have to see if I can make this video in time. And so I finished the video at uh, at 4:40 p.m. And that's I'm, I'm able to calculate this because I can look at you know the uh, the file dates, the dates of files. And I had made the video in about 11 hours straight. And I'm like, yeah, sweet, it's a 10 minute video made in 11 hours. That's pretty fast. I was really satisfied with that. And at this point, I somehow attained a second wind. I was no longer tired. So I'm like, oh. So I go back into my room, I talk to my squiggle some more, have this huge dramatic conversation. Then I start singing a bunch of songs to the squiggle. Like, uh, I, I just play a bunch of music that I like, but, but music where I've never actually looked up the lyrics and I can't entirely sing along. So I learned some lyrics to some songs I like, and I'm like, yeah, super satisfying. It's something I always want to do, but I never take the time to do it. So then I go and wash some dishes in the kitchen and I make some food for myself. Then me and Digi watch a movie together that we're planning on, uh, like, doing a video about. And it's a three hour movie and over the course of it i almost pass out like a bunch of times but then at some at some point i somehow attain a third wind and the video ends i mean the, the movie ends and it's 10 pm now so i've been awake for well over 24 hours at this point i go into my room again have a third intense dramatic conversation with squiggle like three conversations in one in one waking cycle of mine um then I talked to Digi about the movie some, and we kind of were like, you know what, let's not make a video about this movie. We changed our minds, but we talked about other video project ideas. And then I start washing um, more dishes uh, at around 12.50 uh, a.m. for 70 straight minutes. So over the course of the next hour and 10 minutes, I finish washing all of the dishes. 
And at this, at this point, I'm like, how long have I been awake? So I go over and I look at all the dates and the times of all the stuff on my computer. And I, I, I've, I, I wrote out the whole list of sequence of events that I've been reading to you so far. And that took me like 30 minutes. So at this point, I'm like, okay, the power of this coffee so exponentially outweighs that initial burst of anxious spiraling grumpiness that I have to drink coffee way more often. And this was on only one cup. This was only one stein, a 500 milliliter stein of coffee, approximately. I'm like, I still have so much energy. I'm not even tired yet. I'm not even tired yet. So then I go and I, I do my laundry. Then I make some more food. Then I, then I relax for like three minutes just laying on my bed and crushing tiredness sweeps over me. So then I, I stand up and decide to brush my teeth and then suddenly the tiredness goes away. And I'm like, huh. So then I shower, shave, um, I dry myself off and I rest for 15 minutes. So at this point it's 4, 10 a.m. I basically just rest just so I can dry myself off more. I don't know. I can't even remember exactly. So it's 4, 10 a.m. I do the rest of the laundry. I do the rest of the laundry. So I, I've cleaned so many things. I've, I've cleaned all my clothes, all my friggin' sheets, and all the towels that everyone use, uses. And uh, I put away all of the dishes, too. I put away all the dishes once they're all dried off. And this, it was the first time since living here that all the dishes in my room, in the house, have been clean at this house. So it was an incredible moment. And at this point, I'm wondering, I, I actually don't think I will become a coffee drinker because I don't think I ever need to drink coffee again. I think that one cup was all I needed. I've broken my sleeping mechanic. I've achieved the broken brilliance. I'll never have to sleep again. Holy shit, this is the greatest thing. Um, then I start organizing my room because, you know, my room was a mess. Halfway through, uh, I start like feeling bad about my- I start feeling all down, crying for no reason. I guess just because I've been awake for so long, I've become a weird bitch. Um, so Squiggle comforts me, I get back on the horse, and I finish organizing my room. And then I, I finish organizing my room at 4, at 8.40 a.m. So it's like, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm moving slowly here. I am doing things slowly because I've been awake for so long and I've become a weird, fragile person. But still, I was awake for about, for about like 44 hours, so just under two straight days of being awake. And it was this incredible moment of time. And uh, yeah, so that's interesting. I did fall asleep though, and I guess I'm probably just going to be randomly falling asleep all week. Uh, anyway, I'm going to try and talk softly here. Uh, Hippo is asleep in my room on a uh, inflatable mattress, six feet away from my microphone. All the uh, Radcon guys are out there talking, probably shouting, screaming, laughing. Don't know how much you guys can hear that. If you can, I'm sure it's totally ruining the mood of this series, but... You know, Hippo being asleep there is forcing me to talk softly, so hopefully that increases it. Or maybe makes it totally creepy, I don't know. So yeah, you know, still doing the programming stuff, still having a great time with that. Uh, so cool. I have made a couple of like C++ programs, um, mostly just stupid text things. I'll uh, put a link to them in the description so you can download them if you use Windows. They're simple EXEs. Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's just me to train myself and learning programming stuff, but. I think I made a couple of funny little pieces of text. And you know, as I learn more and more about programming, I immediately am taking the experience and knowledge I'd built up in YouTube analysis to this new field. Because like, there, there's one important thing that I've learned as an analyst person and a review person is uh, that most people in any given field are not that good at it even among professionals. Cause it's like, I'm, I'm watching video tutorials about programming and like lectures on the nature of programming. And I'm starting to get the sense of like, how many of them are people who aren't really that good at what they do. 
but they are technically professional. And like even, you know, comments and forum posts around the internet and there's people who like sound like they really know what they're doing, but you know, maybe they're, uh, they know what they're doing, but what they're doing is garbage. So yeah, that that's kind of, it's interesting because, you know, obviously I literally don't know shit about it, but I'm already starting to like get a feel for it, get a feel for like who the, who the people who I can respect are in this uh, situation. Because, you know, with YouTube reviews, I mean, 90% of people I don't, wouldn't take seriously with their reviews, even if they are making money from it, even if they are, even if they do have 100,000 subs and stuff, you know, like all the normal boots hidden block people are people who I would uh, not really go to for any wisdom on how to make videos or tell anyone to go to and learn from, except for like basic production values and upload schedules. Uh, and stuff like that. I mean, not counting Jontron, he's obviously a totally different animal from everyone else in that field, but, uh, you know. So, like, cause, um, the video that I had mentioned before about programming called Object Oriented Programming is Bad, I watched that video again, and I watched its sequel videos, which are Object Oriented Programming is Embarrassing, and Object Oriented Programming is Garbage. Uh, and it's like, man, this guy, Brian Will, is smart, and I respect him deeply. He's so sure-handed and, and just so subtly, smugly derides other, other techniques and stuff, but like, just so, just so competently and, and clear-headedly. And I gotta admit, he's really, really convinced me. And I know that a lot of, I'll probably get a couple comments being like, that are very like sincere and like well-informed telling me about, you know, like, well, I know he said this and this and this about uh, object-oriented programming, but you know, this, 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 and this. And on one hand, I'm inclined to take you seriously because you know more about com uh, coding than me. But on the other hand, I'm not. Like, I, I have to admit, like, just because you've, you actually are a good programmer, I have to admit, I might not take you seriously. I'm not, by the way, people who've commented before on the last one, I'm not referring to any of you. Uh, I don't remember exactly, but I, I don't know. It's just, it's just a weird thing, feeling like I'm already judging people's uh, skill at a field that I have no skill in. <laughs> yeah, I'm a pretty bad person. You know, it, it's funny, becoming successful in life has done simultaneously good and bad things to my moral character because, you know, when I'm a depressed teenager, I'm more inclined to lash out at people and, and be mad and grumpy, but now I'm not. I don't really have any incentive to be grumpy at people, but I'm so satisfied with my self-image now that I don't care to not be grumpy to people, you know? I just like, I'm so satisfied and content with what I've, with the cool stuff I get to do all day that I don't need the approval of people at all. Like I'm someone who's rarely needed much approval from other people who I don't care about, but that dependency is at an all time low with me. Like I really don't give a shit. So yeah, it's just... I feel like I've been becoming a weird asshole to people. And I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll fix that at some point. I'll be like, you know what? I'm going to stop being an asshole this time. But I don't know. It, it It's strange because... Like, you know, I know Digi was saying similar stuff in one of his decompression chambers and stuff. Like about... He doesn't think of himself as a great person. You know, he just thinks of himself as maybe a, a strong 5 to a light 6 out of 10 on moral quality. I'd probably rank myself, you know, maybe a uh, light to decent five, depending on who you are, um, how I'm treating you specifically. But like, I, I feel like this is going to be weird, but I'm sure almost, I'm sure there's a lot of people who are going to agree, but never really thought that they should say it, which is, I value interesting people more than good people in the world. I mean, obviously, the more good people, the better, but... I, I, I kind of just don't care. Like, if someone is a great moral person who helps people, I'm like, yes, I appreciate you, 
but you're not really doing anything to help me since I don't have cancer. I don't have uh, being a starving African child disease. So, you know, you go off and help them. That's great. You know, like, you know, at some point if I ever have, like, if, if, if the time is right, maybe I'll do something to help you. You know, I do think you are valuable, but I don't care because you don't do anything that amuses me. You know, you're off in Africa helping them. You know, I'm over here. You're not doing anything for me, so I don't really care, you know? People who are interesting, uh, educated, and creative, and people who I can respect is something who, that I want that, that, that I want from people way more. You know, those are the kind of people who I want to talk to or, or understand or research or that kind of stuff, you know? Like, all my life, all I've really wanted is just respect from people who I respect, you know? Like, fame is cool and all. You know, people knowing about you is, is fine, although kind of annoying too. But really all I've wanted is just to be someone who uh, is, is mentioned in an, a retrospective of what was important about the world, <laughs> you know? Like, this person came along, took influence from these people who came before him, and then these people took influence from him in this way. That's where I want to... That's 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 my goal, man. That's that's who I want to be. Um, but, you know, I guess if you're a more nice person, then uh, you could be more respectable, too. <laughs> that would probably help. I don't know. Maybe... I, I don't know if I'm either underselling or overselling the amount of assholeness I am. Guess that's for other people to judge. Mwamp. Mwamp. That's uh that's supposed to be a horn sound like Sometimes I'll type it in a chat. Like someone will talk about something that was like derpy and I'll be like M W A H M P and they're like Womp, what does that mean? And I'm like, it's a freaking horn, man. Uh You know, when I started doing the programming stuff, I brought a chair back into this room and I started sitting at a chair. Um but it started to make my back hurt. After two weeks, my back started to die. So I kind of gave up on that. Um, I mean, I am sitting on a chair right now, but I'm leaning forward. I'm not leaning back on the chair. That's what kills your back slowly. Yeah. You know, I had mentioned before how I really like the idea of... Uh, of making a video super fast, which is what I did, you know, a 10 minute video in 11 hours. I'm really, really satisfied with that. But it's really because making videos is, is harder than a lot of other mediums in a way. Where I could sit down and start drawing and just never stop. Or I could sit down and make a video game, or at least try to, and just never stop, you know? When I got into C++, I was like, wow, I can just, I can just go at this all day with like no breaks or at least very very few um whereas with editing video it just feels like i need have the need to get up and and do something all the time like i always feel at risk of getting distracted and it's, it's strange. It feels like my work ethic is entirely different depending on what medium I'm working in. And, I, and I've been trying to get to the bottom of that. And I feel like I've made some progress on figuring it out. But, okay, I'm gonna, let's say there's two categories here. One category is, is sort of a more abstract form of art, which is like you're drawing something that doesn't exist. You're programming a video game, you know, which is entirely a simulation. Or you're doing like this more hard media stuff where it's more high art in a way where everything you're making is totally purely created by your own hand. Then on the other side, there's more abstract, no, no, there's more um, uh, remix type of art, which, you know, editing videos is that you're taking this, uh, you know, show that's been made by someone else and and turning it into a different form you know you're re-editing it into your own video um and also in this category i would even put blog writing like even the process of writing a video like that 
it's it's like you're taking the things that have been said in this show and then you're reinterpreting its meaning and its message and making it your own. So even the writing process is very much like a remix of the writing of the thing. And 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 like even if you're blogging, like say you're just doing journalism, you know, that's also an art form, but you're basically remixing life that way. So th those are the two categories, right? And I feel like the first category, the more high art, I'm not saying it's better necessarily, it's just, it, it's more, I'm just going to use the word high because it just feels like the right word to use, okay? Don't judge me. Um, no, please judge me. But those mediums, it feels like it takes more of my focus. It takes more of my, it, it takes all of me, you know? To make something like that, to draw a thing, takes all of my soul. And the whole world around me doesn't matter anymore. Everything goes black around me. And it's just me and my friggin' chisel and my chunk of stone. And I'm making the thing, chiseling away at it until it's done and nothing can slow me down. Meanwhile, with editing, like, a lot of the of editing and making videos like that depends on like being culturally aware you know that's a that's a medium that's very much about like feeling connected to the life stream of the culture around you you know you have to feel the world at all times uh in order to like be good at it so i f like i can't phase out the world around me i become more one with the world around me and when you're in that state of mind, you just get distracted more easily. Or at least, I, I say you, but I mean me, okay? Like, yeah, the whole time I've been making videos, it's like, you have to take breaks. You have to hang out on the internet in order to, like, be in the right mental state to be able to make a video like that. And I don't know why that is. Because back when I was making that RPG, I could just I could just shut myself off from the world completely and never lose my touch, or at least I felt that way, you know. So so it's a weird thing like that, um, and that's and that's why it, it's harder for me to stay focused when editing videos. Hopefully, coffee will be my life hack to win the world. I will destroy everything with my new don't need sleep power up. You know, I've always said I like the idea of sleep, and I do find sleep very satisfying. I just wish I didn't have to do nearly as much of it as I do. If it could be you go to sleep once every two to three days for three to five hours, that'd be ideal. Now, I don't know if that's medically possible, but if it were, that would be my favorite. Well, that's, um, that's everything I had to say. I think it's been like a week since the last episode of this show, so how about I just release it now? You know, it's only 30 minutes, but that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. By the way, I'm gonna change the titling system for this show. Originally, I named the first episode, like, uh, January or whatever, you know, gave it the date, and then Nate came out with his solo podcast and also gave it a date. And Digi was like, actually, I was thinking you guys should just not have dates because that just gets confusing. We can't have too many shows that are named after a date. That just gets confusing. And I'm like, I, I don't really know why, but okay, I might as well. So I think I'm just going to name these episodes, like give them a title named after what I'm talking about. I'm not sure. I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but oh, yeah. Anyway, um, I got copyright detected on the song I'm using on the last episode, but that may just be because I played two straight minutes of the song with no talking over it. So I'm going to find out if I'm still going to get copyright detected, even if I don't do the fade out. So yeah, unfortunately... This video is not going to end with two straight minutes of just music, even though I really like that concept. So, um, goodbye.